No, it's weird. It, it is weird. It's like, you know, you're watching, the, being sitting at home and you're watching these guys on TV playing golf and, and you sort of sat for a long time thinking, is that ever going to be me again? But, you know, getting back out here, everybody's been so welcoming and, you know, it's nice just to feel a part of the, the, the golfing family again. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome to see him. You know, I hadn't seen him in, you know, in a while and uh, Jerry's a good buddy of mine, great guy. And, and uh, you know, just to see him back and, and, and doing what he loves and like he just said, you know, being a part of something again is really cool. Um, it's, it, it shows you that this is just golf, you know, it's not, it's not life or death. And, you know, he's, he's fought that battle and won and, uh, and that's, that, that says a lot. It's, uh, it's great to see Jared back. It, uh, you know, when we all found out that he had leukemia for the second time, it, it, it was uh, it's pretty hard to hear, but uh, you know it's it's great to see him back. It's great to see him battle through, and, and uh, can't wait to see him on the golf course again. They treat it with chemotherapy, and in my case this time, a, a little bit of radiation as well to get me ready for my transplant. I ended up having what was called a double cord transplant, so it's the blood from umbilical cords. So people can donate the blood from you know the cords as soon as their, um, their child's born. Um, and I was lucky enough to receive two of those. So I had one from the USA and one from Germany. So, you know, the one that grafted for me was a, a female cord from Germany. So I'm sort of, you know, a, a two-year-old German girl trapped inside a 32-year-old Australian boy's body. But, um, you know, it's kind of, for me, that was, that was it. That was the last resort for, for my treatment. And, you know, if that hadn't worked, then I don't know what would happen. The second comeback from Mickey and it's just unbelievable, you know, I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, the bravery he's got to, to come back and, and fight through it two times, it's, uh, it's just an amazing achievement, you know, I mean, uh, we wish him all the best and hopefully he can get back to enjoying his golf, and uh, but mainly just staying healthy. Leading up to the Australian Masters in November of last year was kind of the point where I thought, you know, I can still play golf. And, you know, if it wasn't for my wife who sort of gave me the kick in the pants that I needed to, to get out there, I don't know what would have happened if she hadn't have done it, but, you know, she sort of gave me that kick in about end of August, start of September and said, right, you've got two months to get yourself ready. Do you want to do it? And, and the whole time I said, no, I don't think I'll be ready. I don't think I'll be ready. But, you know, I was ready and, you know, ended up making the cut. So it was nice to, you know, play a golf tournament 20 months after I'd, you know, got sick. I'd actually go out there and make the cut and sort of show myself that there was still that that game was still there and the passion was still there. It's just hard as a being a father like he is now. I just can't imagine what he went through when he first got realised he had cancer again and then his daughter was born. Just the emotions he must have gone through. I'd imagine coming back and playing golf was the last thing he could ever think of and just to have him back here now, it's just a fantastic effort on his behalf just to get his body and mind right to come back and play. It's just it's just fantastic. You know, I said through this whole process of, you know, my treatment and all that kind of stuff that if I never played golf again, I wouldn't care. And I still stand by that. You know, if something happens and I can't play golf again and, and whatever, then, you know, I've got my, got my daughter, I've got my wife, you know, we're, we're happy little family and, you know, it's not the end of the world. I had a go at it. Obviously things aren't where they need to be and, you know, we'll, we'll keep fighting, keep trying to figure out what to do and, and move on. But, you know, I feel very, very lucky that you know, I have that perspective that golf's not the end of the world for me.